Welcome to Red VTV's Instant Reaction, supported by Chapel House Cars for the 2024 season. Following St. Helens' 24 points to 12 victory over Catalan Dragons here at the Totally Wicked Stadium this evening. I'm not on my own. David, good to see you again this year. Well, I was wondering whether I should have turned up after the first 20 minutes because we didn't seem to want to play or hold the ball. Was there a little bit of confusion because they were wearing white with a semi-red V and we kept trying to pass the ball to them? Uh, well, obviously, as Peter Elder pointed out in the preview, I'm, I'm a convinced that you shouldn't be playing in your away shirts at home. And yeah, it did seem that we wanted to pass to red and white all night. Yeah, opening 15 minutes, Percy's made a couple of errors, Ciro's made a couple of errors, and you just start to think at that point, is it going to be a night even that early on? But then we cleaned up a little bit. We did. Um, first 15 minutes, first 20 minutes, I thought we were really poor. Uh, Clark was off his game as well, which is unusual. Normally he likes to relish a game against a big pack of forwards. But we did settle down eventually, eventually. Um, not before we went behind, though. Before we went behind, though, we had... Um, hang on. Boys, come on, we your poster quick. You've made it. Red BTV, like, share, subscribe. We're not finished just yet. <laughs> What's your name, mate? Toby. Louie. I, like I like your poster. Go, Iggy. Thank you. What team are you from, Fatou Yeah. Yeah. Up the Crusaders. Are they so nice one. <laughs> well done, guys. Um, where are we? Yeah, before we go behind, we have like three or four sets in our line, don't we? We do. Um, and we defended really well, and then you think, do you know what, the defence is here tonight. We get caught a little bit from a really good quick, a really good kick from Jordan Abdul. We did. Who, it looks like he just practices his kicks in training and doesn't do much yeah. else. Yeah, but also, there were three men in a tackle, and they managed to get it out to Abdul. You know, we need to clean that bit up. But we did. That's one of the good things about Saints. They were realising there were things going wrong, they got to fix them. Did the flow of the game remind you a little bit of Leeds last week? Obviously, going behind that early on, getting ourselves back into it before half-time. Yeah, a little bit more of a physical challenge today, I think. Um, particularly with, obviously, a weakened pack. But you wouldn't have told that we were weakened. I mean, some of the people there today, Matautia, Delaney, Lees, doing, what, 70 minutes? That against a big pack like Catalans. I know they had a few missing, but that is one hell of a performance from our pack. It's fair to say Wello got the team right tonight, didn't he? He's gone as strong as he possibly can in his starting 13 to start the game. Um, knowing we've got the likes of Delaney, Matty Lees, Sione, who can do them big minutes. They could be deaf. Enjoy. It's the David Rigby fan club. <laughs> I didn't, it's just I, for you. I didn't know. I didn't know. Honestly, I've not paid them. <laughs> yeah, so we, we've, we've done big minutes. Yeah. It's six apiece. There's a big hit on George Delaney just yeah. before half time. Hang yeah, on, stand is. in the background. <laughs> uh, big hit on George Delaney. Now, we're all stood in the West Stand, aren't we? It yeah. looked bad from where we were. It really did. Because obviously we've got that front on view. Now, I appreciate most of the cameras don't give you that front on view, but it did look like a clear straight head and you think that's a red card every single season nothing to do with the rules every single season that's a red card we then get a load of social media tweets coming through to us saying the mitigation yeah. was it's come off the back of the neck and then hits the head it's the yeah. front of the neck high yeah. so the back of the neck high but surely there has to be a, a little bit of intent and where it ends up because it was going high all day wasn't it it was and i can't help but think back to kyle amor at wigan when he hits the ball on the chest and it rides up and he gets sent off so which, which tackle for you is more dangerous that tonight or the one on texoy from tommy makinson against cass uh, uh, well obviously the one tonight the one tonight <laughs> clearly but as i say i recognize that other people having the benefit that we don't have and watching it very carefully on a big screen at home watching the replays say the referee explained it very well so I've got to accept that but yes it certainly riled we don't have to accept anything and I, and I think it riled I think it riled our team I yes. think it riled our team we've come out after half time and for me there's only been one team in it yeah yeah and wasn't it great to see Parsi back
after such a serious injury. Didn't recognise him with his haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognise him by his girth. <laughs> you know, he's, he's obviously enjoyed the off-season as well. But, hey, great effort to get to, through rehab and to be back on the field. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get a lot more minutes if he can get in the team. Because we do have a couple of good youngsters now that he's going to have to try and push out of the team. Oh, yeah. Noah Stevens um, has had another 15, 20-minute cameo. Is that the red V Noah Stevens <laughs> you're talking about? Stop it, stop it. Um, but he runs a really good line, doesn't he? Does. He? he does, and I, I, I actually thought both he and Delaney will be saying in the changing rooms now, some of you senior players let us down tonight because they didn't let us down at all. No, and yeah. it, it's that it's that strength and depth. And listen, the more Noah gets minutes, the more George Delaney is, is, is getting game time. It, it just allows us to... They're reliable, aren't they? So you know you can you can rotate teams around. Well, Noah Stevens had a great start to his career at Saints, and hopefully it's going to be a very long career as well. But yes, he looks a prospect, doesn't he? When you think how much Delaney has come on in the last year as well, I mean, with him him and Matty Lees, they're not the biggest props, but they took it to the Catalan tonight. I thought Jack Wells had a really good game tonight as well. well. He was rewarded with man of the match. To be honest, I felt that it should have been a forward who got some recognition because I thought the game was won in the forwards. But yes, whenever Jack chimed in, you always thought something was going to happen. I also thought Mabai had a really good game as well. Really good game playing at standoff. And certainly, you think we might be able to get through these next couple of weeks. Obviously, next week we'll get through all right. Uh, but we'll get through the next few weeks without Johnny Lomax. And who, which, which Saints fan would have said you could have done that at the beginning of this season? Aren't you glad we've got a week? Oh, no, we're not. Yeah. Yeah. Week, week off next week. Um, London the yeah. week after, and then you've got Salford and Cass. It's another two or three games that are winnable and, and should keep us up there at the top of the table. They should. Obviously, Castleford, they were a decent side in the first half, but that game was obviously affected by making some sending off. Salford, I'm always a little bit wary of. Like you, I've been to Salford's ground a couple of times and seen us cleaned out, so I don't think Saints will be taking those games lightly. But you're right, we should be able to get another, what, four points from those two games. And yeah, we're, we're being a bit flippant. London, obviously, are a Super League side, but really, we shouldn't have any worries about going down there and winning. As perverse as it sounds, we've got loads of injuries, but because you've got fringe players, young players... Hungry. Is that actually an advantage when they, when they're coming in and because they're, they're desperate to perform because they want to show what they can do and it's actually it is actually helping us in some of these games. Well, Wellens has told us for several weeks, hasn't he, that people are banging on his door wanting to get in the team. And yes, I felt a little bit sorry for Sam Rowe. What did he get tonight? Eight and a half minutes, yeah. you know. You're gonna, he'll, we'll give him easy against London. It, well, I think he'll probably yeah he'll probably yeah, feature a little bit more. more. But yes, he'll get more. But, it's your fan club again, David. <laughs> what do you think of David? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm touched. <laughs> Kev Pender, you f you, we've forgotten you already. Kev who? Kev who? Uh, I think we're done, aren't we? I think so. Right. I think a good performance. Don't. No one signed your shirt. No, we're not. 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 Don't forget like, to like, share, subscribe, Dave. Like, share, like, share, like, share, subscribe, like, Red VTV. Love the Saints. Come on. Red.